Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Cynthia and today I'm doing something a little different. Today I want to start a new little series about tea and I'm trying to come up with some ideas of what to call it. I'm not sure. Tea time? Tea stuff? I, I don't know. If you have something very creative, leave a comment below and let me know what I should call this series. I'm sitting here at my kitchen table and I have me a nice mug of tea and this is how I would like to start off um, with a mug of tea and telling you what I'm drinking. This first tea is from Stash Premium. I got this as a gift and it's the decaf raspberry and white tea and they're individually wrapped tea bags in here and I really have been enjoying this lately. There's 18 tea bags in this box here and let's see what it says. It's a hint of fresh fruit sweetness highlights the delicate flavor of Chinese white tea picked from a special variety of the tea plant. White tea is highly in antioxidants. The staff decaffeination process preserves the natural flavor and health enhancing qualities of this rare and delicate tea. Enjoy this bright golden infusion any time of the day. And so that's what I have here in my mug. So, ooh, it's still very hot. I don't know if you can see the steam coming off of it. It's still very hot. I like to have a cup of tea in the morning. I usually take my, um, like a tumbler size to work in the morning every morning and then I brew a cup. This is a very large cup for the evening for me. Usually it's not this big, but um, I wanted to use my clear mug to show you the color of the tea. So I really appreciate your help if you can help me come up with a name for the series like I said. Now also I want to show with you share with you and show you some of the tools that I use to make my cup of tea. The first thing that I use is this electric heat tea kettle and I just got through using it so it's kind of still warm. And this is the Breville, it's electric tea kettle and um, it's so snazzy, you just put your water in there and then at the bottom here on the plate it has all the different settings for the type of tea. For example, if you're doing a white tea or green tea, you push the button and it brews or it heats up the water just to that right temperature for the tea that you are making. So this is can came in very handy. I got this a gift from my husband a while back and it's been over a year now, I guess, and I really, really have enjoyed it. So I heat my water up in my tea kettle and then I have this here. This is like the Tiavana Perfect Tea Maker, but this is what in my neck of the woods had before Tiavana came around here. And I picked this up at a local, um, I guess it'd be like a farmer's market. They're no longer in business anymore, and this one has seen its day. I need to get a new one, so I'm thinking about going to Tiavana and getting the Perfect Tea Maker there. So it came with a coaster, you just open up, you put your tea in here. Um, this is especially good for loose leaf tea you can put in here, but I just stick my tea bag in here and then I pour my hot water in here, close the lid and let it steep for the amount of time. I like sweet tea. Down here in the south, sweet tea is a big deal. And this here is a measuring spoon that I got from Tiavana. I don't know if it says the one cup of perfect tea. So I use this to scoop out loose leaf tea if I have it, but I also use it for my sweetener. And this is a sweetener I've been using recently. This um, I got it at my local grocery store. It's organic turbinado. I think that's how you say it, raw cane sugar. And I put two scoops of this. It's probably not good, but I put two scoops into my tea when it is steeping so I have a sweet tea. Another thing that I got at Tiavana, and it is their timer, and I really like this. And it has over here on the sides for how long, one, three, five, two minutes, to push how long your tea is supposed to steep. Different teas have different 
amounts of time that they're supposed to steep. So I really like that. So it has, you know, all the functions of a timer. If you don't have a timer, that's okay. You can go to the app store and get the Tiavana app and it has a timer on there and you can just plug in what tea you have and set it and it works just fine. So those are all my tea making tools that I use on a regular basis. Those three, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, the six things that I use. So just wanted to share that with you because some of you are new to tea and I haven't been drinking tea as often as I have been. Um, I, I drink it ever so often, but now I'm really, really getting into it and experimenting with different teas, the loose teas, the tea bags, finding all kinds of seasonal teas, and I really, really enjoyed it, and I just wanted to share it with you. Um, something else that I have to share with you are some tea empties. These are things that I've used, and I really, really enjoyed, and I want to share them with you. Well, I just showed you my sweeteners. I've gone through two bags already um, since Christmas, I guess. This is just the um, Whole Foods brand of sweetener, and this is the one that I just um, showed you. So I went through those. Some other tea empties I went through. This is from Tiavana, and this was in a gift, a gift box. I think that that I got around Christmas time, yeah. And it had three of these in here. I've already used the other one and threw it away, but I saved these two. This one is the orange chocolate sweet spice tea. This was so good, so good, especially during the holiday, time, holiday times. And this one is the white chocolate peppermint. I really love this one. It had that peppermint flavor and the chocolate. Oh, it was just it's very good. So if this comes out next Christmas, I will be definitely getting a ten of that for sure. So those were loose leaf teas. And then tea bags. One of my favorite brands of tea bags is Republic of Tea. And I went through two of their cans. This one is a red tea caramel apple. And this is a is it Roy, Rubus, Roybus tea. It's a red tea. And this was very, very good during the fall and winter time. I used this one up and it, oh, it smells so good. I think it smells good. I'm going to sniff it like a candle. <laughs> but um, definitely next fall comes around. I will be picking up another one of these tins of tea. And there's... I mean, there are how many tea bags in here? There were 38 tea bags in this can alone. So that's a good amount. And I, I think it's around $10 for this also. I think I picked this up either at my Central Market or my Whole Foods. I picked this one up. Then this one is another one of the Republic of Tea, but it was three little mini cans in this one. This one was fun. This one's around the holidays that I picked this one up. And there were three of their holiday teas. This one is Dream by the Fire. And there were 12 tea bags in this. And this one was really nice. Had more of like a, a smoky, I guess, flavor to it because it had that fire in it. This one was Holiday Spice Plum. And I like this one. It had some unique spices in it to me. And that plum flavor came out. And this one was Comfort and Joy. And this one, I think, is my favorite out of all three of them. So I may get a large can of this next year or coming up holidays. Can you believe it? Oh, my goodness. And um, try that. So that is everything that I wanted to share with you. Um, trying something new. Trying to get out in front of the camera more. And share some of the things that I really love and enjoy. And like I said, I need your help coming up with a cute little title. If you can think of something, leave a comment below. If you tried any of these teas, let me know also what you thought of them. And also, if you have a favorite tea that you really, really like, let me know as well because I love trying out new things. So, that's it for tonight. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And I'll talk to you real good again real soon. Thanks. Bye.